I rarely play campaigns, preferring to take on the GM role within any series of adventures. But there is one aspect of some people's playing styles or GM styles that I really do dislike. Well, not as in dislike, get out my campaign dislike, more of a dislike that I don't like it when people play in this way and expect everybody else to join them. What am I talking about? Well, this video goes out to all you micromanagers out there. Hello everyone, my name's Inwells and I produce content on getting organized, live streaming and role playing games. Yes, I know it's quite a diverse selection, but hey, I'm just working with what I've got. This is another video in my Gibbering GM series when I take an aspect of role playing games and talk about it, which is often quite controversial. And if you want to, and I welcome it, please do come back to me in the comments below. Okay, okay, before you start to hurl your pitchforks at me, let me explain what I mean by micromanaging. For me, the most important feature of any character is their personality, how they deal with issues, their skills that they use and how they progress through the campaign. Aspects that I have little or no interest in at all is how many silver coins that person has, where these are being stored and the exact location of every piece of equipment, which can include a detailed annotated diagram. So let me tell you why I don't think it's important to actually go into that depth of micromanaging where everything is, how many arrow tips you've got, etc., etc. Number one is good role players do not need it. Now, I have to say that I'm not implying that players who do micromanage are not good role players. I'm not saying that. I often think that players go to this depth of micromanagement in order to demonstrate how good or correct their character is. This idea of micromanagement can also be imposed by the game master to ensure that the characters are carrying what they can and that any item, whether or not it's big or small, can be carried or it gets left on the floor. What I think is that good role players don't need this imposing because they are not trying to do anything that might be considerable, considered impossible. Considerable? That was a new word that I just made up there. They are actually happy to be realistic about what they carry or the money they have without producing detailed spreadsheets about it. Which brings me on to point number two. Let's spend time on important things. If you are like me, then your gaming time is both precious and limited. So we want to make the most of those that time that we have in the sessions. So if a party is going to go on a journey across a wilderness, I don't really want to waste time going through how many days of rations people have, how many water skins of, of liquid do they have, how they are carrying them and what each item costs. I'm more than happy just to state something like, you ensure that you have enough water and rations for your journey ahead. Or say the player fell into a river, I think they would carry on role playing by either following my lead or even saying so themselves and saying, oh GM, I must say that I think I've lost all my rations there. What should we do about it? What I really dislike is micromanagers that say, I say as a GM, your character falls into the river and your 
rations get swept away and they sort of like say oh no i don't think so uh, here on my character sheet you will see in a detailed description that they are wrapped several times in oil skin wrappers to prevent that happening and i try to kill it you get the idea and this final point seems a little bit strange but i titled it tally marks and coins this is something I really, really struggle with as a GM. I understand money is important and it is often the limited um, factor that affects characters buying things. I also understand that characters will have a limited amount of ammunition, say for their gun or bow. But for me, these are both aspects that I feel do not add to a campaign or role-playing session. If anything, keeping careful checks on disposable items can actually detract from the role-play within the session. Money honestly really does my head in and I'm trying to devise a new way to look at money in a campaign. I always think it's so funny when people are asking other questions, uh, other characters or players, things like Where are you carrying those ten silver pieces? I just think, why does it matter? Ah! I know, I know you are itching to come back at me now. And I'm more than happy to hear your comments and your opinions. That's what the comments are for. One of the best aspects of any campaign is the diversity of players. I relish that. If you want to micromanage, then go for it. But just don't impose it on other players and the GM. You know, keep your little spreadsheets to yourself. Yeah, I like that. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And remember, you can support my content I produce by using the super thanks button that is down here to make a suitable donation to the channel. Thank you hugely. Until next time, happy GMing everyone and playing and playing. And I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.